Hey guys, I know it has been forever. If you are new here, my name is Katrina, but I also go by Princess K. And if you are a returner, hey y'all, how's it been going? <laughs> I know. Don't be mad at me, I promise. I'm coming back with good content for you guys. So this video, I know for the most part, like all my tutorials are like full glam. They're just like beat to the gods. And I don't really focus on like natural makeup routines, but I do now because I just needed a routine that just made me feel cute when I was going out to run errands. Like I really don't mind going out with out any makeup at all and that's usually how I am 95% of the time well not that much let me let me let me relax at least like 80% of the time I don't have makeup on and I'm just like running errands just like bare face but I just wanted to find something that made me feel a little bit more comfortable when I was going out not that I have a problem with no makeup at all because I don't but there's just sometimes where you don't want to do a full face and you just want to add a little something something to just like dress yourself up a little bit without making too much of an effort and having to put on like a cake face so I really sat down and figured out a makeup routine that was very natural minimalistic didn't take long because I don't want to if I'm gonna do my makeup I'm gonna do it you know so I just needed something that just I wasn't doing my makeup it's just like really simple a couple products and then I'm out the door so this is that video for you I don't want to ramble too much but I really think that you're gonna enjoy this video especially if you're someone who just doesn't want to take long on their makeup or you just you like you know like natural those like I just do mascara and lip gloss well baby this is for you it's not just mascara and lip gloss but it is very simple and I think that you will enjoy it so let's go ahead and jump into this video This makeup is going to be perfect for like a five minute, even a winter routine because it is very hydrating. A lot of the products that we are using are going to be super hydrating for your skin. So if you have dry skin during the winter, this is going to be the perfect makeup routine for you. So we are bare face right now. We have absolutely nothing on our skin. Just went ahead and washed my face and here we are. So the most important step, especially for me during the winter time, is going to be prepping my skin before my makeup. Prepping your skin is literally going to build the foundation of how your makeup turns out. So when you want that flawless complexion base, making sure that your skin is prepped correctly is going to be the absolute most important step. So let me put you on to an amazing product that I've been using. This is the Dalba White Truffle First Spray Serum. It is an amazing, like, multifunctional spray serum. You can use it as skincare, makeup prep, a setting spray, or even if you just need some moisture throughout the day. So this is what we're going to start off with. So we're going to start off by shaking it because it has two different layers to it. There is a serum layer and then there's also an oil layer. So we're just going to shake it and then we are literally just going to So we're just gonna let this dry down a little bit but can you see literally just the difference already like my skin looks just so like glowy it feels good it feels hydrated it doesn't feel like I just sprayed something and it's drying down already and that's because it has two different layers to it so it has the oil layer and then it has like this bottom layer which is going to be the serum so the oil layer has avocado oil sunflower seed those are gonna help with like sensitive skin and to lock in any moisture and your bottom layer is gonna be your skincare so it's a serum so it's gonna to have Italian white truffle extract this is gonna help with like fine lines it has antioxidants in it so you're getting really like skincare in a bottle but it's also like makeup too so I love when it's just like a two-in-one type of thing because you're really getting like benefits and then it's also making your makeup just look absolutely flawless and I've literally had it on my face it's dried down and my face it just moisturized that oil component in it just gonna lock in that moisture it's on there my skin feels amazing it looks look how cute it looks she's that girl okay and I love that you can get it on Amazon so it's very convenient it I literally like when I first heard about it I was so surprised that it had sold 15 million bottles okay so I was sleep 
and then I found out about it and I just can't go a day without using it so this is something that you at least need to try out because it is it's so good and because my skin is so hydrated from the Adabo white truffle first spray serum I'm just gonna do that that's all I really need like my skin is super hydrated so we're gonna move on so for foundation we are gonna be using the Dior forever skin I'm in the shade 75 in this makeup routine is so simple like I'm usually one of those girls who is like all or nothing like I'm full face or I'm just not gonna wear makeup at all but I was like I need to find something that makes me look a little bit more decent when I'm going out the house and I don't feel like wearing makeup because even though I may think like oh I look cute I'm just not done up the way that I would like to be so I was just like I need to find a routine that literally like caters to that without me feeling like I have to put on so much makeup just to leave the house because it's like I still want to look like cute and decent but I don't always want to go outside with an extra beat face like <laughs> I need to figure out how to get that clean girl look the combo of this together is going to give you just like amazing skin like look how beautiful and natural and I'm still kind of have this like glow from within from the serum so next we're going to take the Too Faced Erythrolite concealer everything that we're using is going to be very hydrating so it still moves and it still looks very natural on the skin so we're going to take this I'm in the shade caramel drizzle we're not going to conceal everywhere we're literally just going to take it under the eyes just to give us a little bit of a brightness kind of like we're awake but it still kind of gives a little bit natural pressing it into the skin so we can still get a good coverage and a nice blend and then this is also perfect for my girls who kind of like have work to do they have things to do and they just don't have the time to just sit here and do a 45 minute face they need something a little bit more simple and minimalistic so this is perfect because I'm darker skin complexion I'm gonna keep it natural and do kind of like an orangey shade blush feel like that'll just kind of resonate a little bit more with my skin tone so we're gonna be taking the LA girl cosmetics soft matte blush and this is in the shade blissful I think just like orange blushes are so pretty and because we're doing natural we're just gonna take a little bit because these are so pigmented so we don't want to do too much I'm just gonna take it on the high points of my cheeks because I like that placement and I think it looks very like useful to me so I like to keep it a little bit higher instead of taking it more like around in this area kind of like to move it around these have such a good like pigment and I love how like affordable they are. So if you ever need a cream blush, this is definitely perfect. So we are going to set the under eye just a little bit because we have that concealer there and we don't want it to move too much throughout the day. Like if it naturally moves, that's fine. But we do just want to set it a little bit in the beginning and then like let our natural oils come through. So it kind of just gives more of a natural look i'm going to take the laura mercier this is the new version of their translucent this is a medium deep but this is going to have more of a blurring effect so it's going to look like a little bit airbrushed i like to take it on the back of these little pads i got from amazon and i'm just going to press that into the skin just like so and i don't want to set everything because we kind of want to keep that glow so we're just going to lightly set this pressing it into the skin and um kind of blending it out at the same time so instead of like dusting it off afterwards we're mostly just going to keep pressing it into the skin so usually i would have contoured all over my face but we're not going to do that we are going to take the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin sun kiss bronzer i love these these are kind of like a cream to powder so you can use it as like a contour or you can use it as like after when you want to like rebronze like as a powder so it's it like doubles as both so i really like to use these i'm in the shade deep four and i'm just going to take an angled brush i'm just going to get it on there and we don't want it to be too harsh so we're really just adding a little bit of warmth to our skin so we're gonna go right under where we place that just like press it to the skin we can go around and I am gonna take it just down my nose a little bit because I don't know I just like a little bit of a contoured nose don't judge me 
So I'm just gonna lightly. Also, what I love to do is take a little bit of the bronzer right into the crease of my eye because we're not adding anything. This is literally like just complexion based five minute makeup routine. So we're not gonna worry about the eyes. We literally just wanna look like flawless. And when I wore this, I got so many compliments as well. I was just like, wow. This is nice. Okay, let me do it again. So for brows, you don't really have to do them, but I am going to tent them a little bit with the Juvia's Place Eye Sculpt Eye Shade. This is their brow gel, and this is in the shade Ebony. And I'm actually just going to lightly just like brush through my hairs just to make them stand out a little bit more, but like not, I don't want it to be like dramatic, like if I have a full on like, you know, like if I did my brows. Just want them to just stand out just a little bit, so we're like lightly, like lightly, lightly brushing through this, making sure too that there isn't too much product on this. Just gonna lightly brush through the hairs just to add something to them. But yeah, you can literally skip this step if you want to. You see, it just just a little something. So just the brow tint is just a nice little touch. It's not too much. It's not gonna stand out too much. And just also gonna hold them in place as well throughout the day. So we're gonna add just a little bit of blush. I love blush, I'm sorry. I just like, I think it's just so cute and pretty. So we're gonna go on with the One Size by Patrick Star. We're gonna use this middle shade. It's kind of like an orangey coral pink type of color. It's so, so pretty. This is the Cheek Clapper, and the shade we're using is Rosebud. I'm just lightly gonna go into that. This is super pigmented, so you don't need a lot. So I'm just gonna kind of press right over where we placed it. You see, it's just oh, it's so cute. Okay. I'm not gonna add too much. You can add a little bit to your nose, too. Sometimes I see girls do things like that. So I'm just gonna try it out. We're gonna do it. Okay. That's all. We don't go overboard, okay? Just a little bit of blush. Just, and I know it's so hard because I want to just like go ham and put a lot of blush on, but we're not going to do it. We're just, just a little dab, dab, dab and move on, okay? Don't overdo it with the blush. I'm really talking to myself though, okay? <laughs> We're gonna go on with a little bit of mascara on the bottom lash line. I already have um, like individual lashes on. They're just like towards the end, so I'm not going to add mascara to the top. But if I didn't have them on, I would add mascara to the top. But because I do have them on, I'm just going to focus on the bottom. I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Professional Mascara. It's literally like the best mascara ever. So there's two sides to it. There's like a thicker side that I would like to use on my top lashes. But there's also a really skinny side to it. So this is what we're going to use to get those bottom lashes and we're lightly same with mascara we're just gonna add a little bit of something if this was a normal routine I'd be adding so much and making them stand out but we're literally just gonna add just a tiny tiny bit same like with the brows just to add something to them and just make them stand out just a little bit nothing too crazy and then for lips, we're gonna be taking the Makeup Forever Limitless Brown. This is their artist pencils. You can use them on your eyes, use them on your lips. Like you can literally do so much with them. So we're taking the shade Limitless Brown and we're just gonna lightly line our lips. We're not gonna go in too much because again, we just want a natural little nice lippy that doesn't look like we're trying too hard, okay? So I'm just going to lightly just add a little something so we have some definition when we go in with our lippy. I like to kind of like underline my lips a little bit. It's like I have a double line on my lips sometimes, so I kind of have to go like a little bit further underneath. And then to finish off the look, we're gonna go in with our Kylie Cosmetics. This is her lip blush in the shade Can't Talk Right Now. And her lip blushes are super cute because they're just like literally what it sounds like, like a little blush. It's not too pigmented. It's a really nice shade. It's movable throughout the day. So you don't have to worry about it like drying out your lips or anything like that. So I really like this shade too. It's like super cute. I kind of wear it all the time. And it's kind of like a pinky terracotta color. So we're gonna go on with this shade. 
Can someone count how many times I said natural throughout this video, please? <laughs> and there you have it. This is my five minute natural makeup routine. This is something that I'm doing when I would just want to look at least a little bit like cute or like done up without trying when I want to go run errands. Because sometimes I'd be like, I have my cute outfit on and then I won't have any makeup on and like, <laughs> like I'll feel like I look cute when I walk out the house and then I'm like damn girl like you should have threw some mascara on you should have threw a little some like at least like spot concealed or something you know so this is my version of like that clean girl effortless makeup and I just want to thank Dalba for sponsoring this video as you can see the glow is still there the skin looks good it feels hydrated like my skin feels so nice underneath and like I said that is like like a three-in-one product so you can use it as skincare you can use it as makeup prep you can use it as a setting spray so if I wanted to right now and maybe I will let me just shake it up a little bit just to like I said it's buildable too so if you really want to be like glowy like you can just like drench your face in it and let it dry down and that oil is just gonna lock in all that moisture and you are gonna look just so hydrated like you just have absolutely beautiful skin and like I mentioned like prepping your skin before makeup is so important like I can't stress that enough and all the years that I've done makeup the more that I've learned about it and the reason why my makeup will look so nice to you guys is because I make sure to prep my skin so if that's skincare after I wash my face to the primer that I put on my face that is why it looks so good. So make sure you are prepping your skin and definitely try out Dalba because it is, it's just so good and it is gonna change your makeup routine just like so much. So I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. I will be back with more videos. I love you guys and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.